Hello everyone, hope you're coming soon here. So today the new Kasha just hit and we are reviewing the new characters again. So yeah, we have Yai no Mutaki and a bunch of reroll new super cards. And we're gonna take a look at them one by one, starting with the new characters, Yai no Mutaki first. Okay, so Yai no Mutaki. Um, okay. Let's look at her absolute first, okay? We she she can, can, can be on a turf, mainly turf. Uh, can be done dirt as well if you want her to be on dirt. No ways, she's not on short, but she can be done mire, medium, and maybe long. Just maybe. If you want her to be long, she can be long as well. Runner is not. Runner is not. Not really. <laughs> you don't probably not want her to be on runners. She's either leaders or betweeners, and dress is pretty standard. Yeah. That's very standard, by the way. That's yes, is really really standard. Okay, so about her bonuses. Okay, her bonuses is power twenty percent, ten percent on gas. Okay, this is pretty okay, I guess. I mean, yeah, you get a, you don't get a lot of power in the new scenarios anyway, so power bonus is quite good. To run uh, speed in with maybe speed in is the way to go with her. Maybe gas build with a lot of speed bonuses. But yeah, pretty standard bonus. Okay. About her ultimate though. Okay. If you uh if there is no change on her. Okay. If you can hold your position in the final harness in the last 30 300 in the last 300 meter left, you're gonna be increasing your speed. Okay. Okay. I mean it looks fine. I mean it looks fine, okay. Okay. Okay, and again it's a speed it's a speed buff. Ultimate. It's not gonna be really good. <laughs> it's not not even a hybrid, but it's a pure speed buff. And it's only 0 0.35. I think a good speed is gonna be 0 0.45 at least. Yep. So this one's probably average. It's easy to proc though. That that's that the process is easy to proc. And it's proc pretty consistent. And it's gonna be good in arena at least. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at her other skills. Of course, she has a Katikta, uh, pretty okay skill. <laughs> you probably want this always. Uh, but this though, this this is the uh, in checkers. Oh, uh, it's one of the worst skills in the game. So I don't think you want to get this at all. <laughs> if if you ask me, okay. Okay, okay, single corner, good. This one is okay. It's not bad, but not good either. Pretty secondary. No, no. Yep. Corner extension is not a good though. So the only good skill she has is a Katikita and single corners. Most of these are either average or not good at all. Okay. So for the final score I can give her is. Okay. <laughs> 6. <laughs> 6 out of 10. Yeah, 6 out of 10 is well. But she's probably 6 out of 10. She's not gonna be meta at all. The only usable way to use her is in the arena. I don't think she's gonna be any relevant to champion meeting at all. Yep. Yeah, mostly just because this is not acceleration. And her awakening skill kinda sucks. Yeah, that's probably about it. Yep. Skip. Definitely a skip. She also one of the one of the ones that have like the shorter estimation in the game. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the support gap, right? We have Twin Turbo and I guess Fuji. Uh, Twin Turbo, I don't need to say much, right? <laughs> Twin Turbo has 5% race bonus, and that's a minus for the new scenarios. Uh, pretty standard speed bonuses, low rainbows. She's one of the oldest cards in the game right now, so I don't think she'll be any good. The good thing is her skill is good, but it cannot give us in. Uh, and yeah. It, but all three of this, all three of the events that give this cannot give us in all of them. So it's not preferred. You probably don't want to use her at all unless you're running a Bobon and you really really want this skill. Yep. Because Bobon is the in Bobon give the same skill as her, but better. Because she give she one hundred percent give them, but the Bo I cannot give us in them. So I think she's gonna be good. But Ines Fujin though. Ines Fujin skill is good. 
like this. This one is really good for runners. But it's a recovery, so it's not gonna make much difference. Also, B Oshima is a good hint. Her numbers. Okay, when talking about Ines Rojin, I want you I want you to think about uh Kitasan Brack. She's basically Kitasan Brack, but for gas with a speed bonus, okay? So her training is really good. Her her status acquisition is really good. She has a good training bonus, but she has 5% rest bonus, which is um, not much of a problem, but to up to the new scenario standard, you need to have 10%. So this is a little bit of a minus, by the way. Yeah, her events kind of suck as well, so she doesn't have very really good events. But yeah, she's good for cast build, though. That's what I can give her for. But to be pa to be paired with Twin Turbo in this banner is already minus, so I think you should skip this. You just skip Border Beast. For the base banners, and yeah, that's about it. Don't have much to say about this. By the way, it looks this one stayed up looks really, really bad. Yeah, no, he looks really, really bad. The the new the the new so uh, not new. The also a guy that got redone. Both of one of the base was and one of the base of fight is good, but in a specific scenario, it's a really niche. And yeah, just skip it. That's what I can say about this video. And if you like the video, or if you have any opinion about this banner, feel free to leave it down below in the comments. Uh, leave a like, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!